Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play Voxel Tycoon. We have mastered the art of train track laying and uh, high efficiency passenger transportation via train. There is our empty train moving now, impressing all who gaze upon it. <clears throat> so in between episodes, um, if you watched the last one, I know it was painful. But uh, I like including the mistakes so you guys can see them and learn from them. And if you make the same mistakes, you'll know it's not just you. Uh, Glider Cat 2. All right. So I did watch a video or two uh, between episodes on passenger trains. And there's a huge assumption I made here. I think. I think. I don't know for a fact here. But let me tell you my current, <clears throat> my current train of thought, so to speak. Pun intended. Um, it looks like these train stations, right? If I click on logistics, it's that little area of effect here that we can see. You can kind of see it's highlighted here. That's, I'm guessing, again, this is an assumption on my part. Because <clears throat> I didn't see anything really definitive uh, in the video I watched. And I kind of looked at the, uh, the Voxel Tycoon website just to see if they had anything that mentioned this about passenger transportation. But I believe this range of effect is really, really critical. So when I laid the tracks and placed the station in the last episode, my assumption was, and maybe this is from like um, City Skylines or, or it's got to be City Skylines or Transport Tycoon or Transport uh, Fever. It's been so long since I played either of those games. Um, but I seem to recall being able to place a bus station near the train station. And passengers would come on bus or walk over to the train station and then go transport via train, via the passenger train, and you'd get a bunch of passengers that way. My assumption for Voxel Tycoon, at least as the game currently plays, and this could change, is that the train stations work very similar to the bus stations, but they don't interact with each other. Like, people aren't being dropped off here by bus and then finding their way into the train station. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe they do, but we just haven't seen that uh, through several cycles of our train going back and forth between the stations. So, yeah, the, the train is just empty. And so my working assumption right now is the reason it's empty is there's literally like, you know, for this station here, Newport Beach West, there's like, what, four buildings that potentially even have passengers that might want to take the train because those are the only four buildings that are within range of the train station. So I think what we need to do is consider the trash passenger trains kind of more like a subway system in a major city where it's it goes right through the heart of the city and tries and there's train stops or subway uh, stations just um, strategically placed to cover, you know, most of the residential areas and things. So the way we have them laid out now is very much not that that is not the way they're laid out right now. They're laid out um, basically uh, under a model where, yeah, people book, take the bus to the train station and then they take the train outside of town and, and that's what they do. So we're going to change this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll change this up this episode, uh, or we'll start working on it and see if we can't get this. Um, I'm going to slow down the speed. See if we can't get this to operate more like what I think needs to happen. Now, the downside is in order to have train stations within range of these houses. Again, if I go to logistics, this doesn't have that big of a range of effect. But man, it looks like I'm going to have to tear out, tear out some, uh, tear out some buildings and stuff and, and run this train, at least the passenger train straight through town. Now we may leave this track here and replace this uh, passenger station with a freight station and then move materials into town this way and keep this track and then branch off and come through the main strip here and have multiple stops. Now, there's another thing, too, that I saw that I'll show you that I don't know if you guys have picked up on this or not. You probably have, and it's just me learning it late. But if we go into our train route, let's see. I think there's supposed to be an option here. Let's see. 
Follow vehicle, take a ride, skip current order, send a depot. We've seen all that. Turn around, ignore horn, mute unprofitable notifications. I thought there was a way to change this route. So it can, maybe it doesn't apply when you've only got two stops. I think maybe when you add a third stop. Anyway, so typically if you have, oh, we can do it on a bus. Let me show you on a bus route. Sorry, I'll get to the point here or the punchline in a second. If we go to this bus route, let's see, is there an option? I thought there was an option to have it go. Um, sorry, I can't finish the sentence. So right now, the way this route goes, it's going to go to Amana Colonies Northwest, then Amana Colonies Annex, dink, dink, dink. And when it, get, when it gets to the bottom station, it's going to go all the way back up to this top. And that's fine. The way we've set this, these routes up, they're, they're loops, right? I've even called them circle loops. But if you had like a straight line route kind of going down through the town and then back up through the towns here, if you see my mouse here on the right side, down through these three cities and then back up, you wouldn't want it to get to the last stop and then go all the way up and then hit every stop coming down. You might want it to just, when it reaches the last stop, to just reverse that path and hit those same stations again. So it wouldn't be a loop in this case. It'd be like a back and a forth, I think they call it. And I thought I saw something on the website that showed you could set up this route to do that. Now that's just the name there, so that's not it. Is there an option here? Shoot, I guess I shouldn't have brought it up if I didn't know how to do it. Um, yeah, I don't see how to do it, but I thought I read that there is a way to make that happen. And that's not it. So maybe when we add a new route, we'll, we'll experiment with that. I thought there was a way to do it. Let's see. Let me just uh, try one more time. Schedule. Okay. That's our route. Edit. Add stop. Okay, default, just execute orders as possible, non-stop, ignore all, or, all orders, and go through the station non-stop. Is there anything up top here? Well, shoot. Let's try one more thing. I'm not having much success here. Okay, details loading. It's 30 days. It's just the stats. All right, I apologize. I'll have to look that back up or look that up again. Just something I kind of uh, ran across as I was trying to learn more about passenger transportation. But I believe there was a way to make it so it just goes back and forth. Dink, 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 then dink, dink, dink. Instead of down, 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 back to the top, down, 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 back to the top. Uh, let's just see. Is there a way to add an order? Wait a specified amount of time. Load all available cargo. Uh, add stop. Nope. Rename the route. Switch to individual route, but keep the orders. Add stop. All right. Well, I don't see it. I apologize once again. Let's move on. And let's think about how we can do this train through to through town uh and add train stops i'm guessing we need to go straight up the middle here to cover the most residential areas but man and then now i'm kind of wondering does it make sense to even have a train go this far or should we just do a brand new route that just kind of runs through town and experiment with it that way let's see let's grab a train station we're making tons of cash. Look, we're up to 5.2 million. So investing in the trucking early 
has paid off for us. Let's see. Okay, I'm getting a save lag here, I think. There we go. Um, interesting. Okay, it does take the shape too. So if I want <laughs> if I want a bigger area of effect, I can raise the number of platforms, but that's kind of nuts, right? That seems like crazy. So the other option I'm wondering is, should we just loop through town? Should I have a loop? Jeez. Like, that's not bad, right? That covers a bunch of homes. Man, yeah, this passenger uh, trains has got me a little befuddled, if that's a word. Hmm. Just trying to think of what the easiest thing is we could do. Or we could just go for the gold and start busting stuff out. Let's for giggles. This is going to be painful, but we're going to do it just to experiment. We may be taking out some businesses. All right, I'm dropping a station there. And I'm going to drop another station. I will bulldoze if I have to. I want to learn how to do this. So let's go to another passenger station. This could be brutal, so bear with me. Uh, before I do that, let's select this station and set it on logistics just so we can see what the range is. And then we'll place another one. And we should still be able to see what the range is there. So if we want to cover more homes... And these lazy people don't want to actually walk two blocks... Can I just pop a station here? Oh, and it's got to line up because, uh, man, if it doesn't line up, that's a headache. Mana colonies, that's our... Jeez. Ooh, man, it's going to be painful putting this in. Maybe I should have done it from the beginning. Uh, let's see, we want to come in. Again, I'm going to experiment with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Man, yeah, this is pretty invasive. Holy smokes. Can we pull this off or not? Boy, I don't know. I'm kind of puzzled. Maybe we should have done this right from the very beginning. At least the passenger trains, because holy smoly. We're going to have to bulldoze a bunch of stuff. We can do it. It's just we're going to lose some businesses. We're going to have to do some cleanup. Or the other option we could do is try and start that process way over here in Orem. You know what I'm saying? Like... Try to get, get in early in the center of town here. Like, look at that. That covers a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Now, I don't know if the town will grow around this thing. I imagine it's not as expensive as I thought. Let's pop this down here and just... We'll leave it, and we'll just see what the consequences are of doing that. Um, but let's get that down before the city expands over there. Let's grab... Hopefully that was a passenger station. Let's do this one and see again if there's a way I can get a station in through town. I don't mind bulldozing businesses and everything else that I need to do. We may just go for it. Uh... I got my town center here, though. It's, I'm a little nervous about, like, this city hall. I don't care about the these businesses. And then my headquarters is right there, too. Can we wiggle in through here? It needs to be, needs to be right in this range. So let's get out the jackhammers. And just for fun say see you later 
I know we're going to have to clean up some train routes and everything else. Can't remove settlements. Can't remove the settlement disallows this. Hey, I'm the mayor. <laughs> All right, let's see. They're not going to let me take... <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. They're not going to let me uh, take this out. I see. I see how it is. see if we can uh, oh I bet I can't take that one out nope it let me take it out let's see is it this one yes interesting so you cannot remove businesses that's a little bit of a dragola because I want to run my train through here let's see uh eminent domain people let's see uh Back to trains. And passenger station. Yeah, it's just gonna, I can't, I couldn't expand it if I wanted to, right? So we're a little bit limited on what we can achieve. Passenger station. There's a little spot here, right? Would that work? It overlaps pretty heavily. Uh, and then can I even run track through this area? Ooh. Can I come up over the top of these buildings? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to experiment. Why can I not build here? I'm going to get the bulldozer out. I'm telling you. We are going to learn through experimentation here what we can do and what we can't do. These houses will sprout up again. I'm just trying to clear out some stuff. I may take out some road as well if I need to. And then we'll reconnect the road, maybe have uh, things go over the train station. I want to just get two train, at least two train stations in a city. And then uh, see if we can't move a single passenger. So that's the, uh, the little goal, the modest little goal here. I know I can shorten this station. I just want to try. Let's uh, Let's take it down. What is it? Okay, I want this guy lined up. Perfect. We're going to take out more businesses. I'll go as far north as they let me. That road's in the way. But I need to, I think I need to stay back in order to be able to curve the track around. These buildings, because I kind of need a. That looks okay. Let's do that. Let's tear out some more buildings. Kaboom. Yep. And kaboom. If I can kaboom it. See ya. And now can I connect track here? Why is everything highlighted? Let me let's close everything down. Just hit the delete key to kill all the open windows. I'm going to grab some more track. Boom. And what happens here? Can't build here. So I got to tear out the roads or can I come up? Let's try a bridge. Can I come up over this? Doesn't look like it. Uh, boom. Not enough room for the bridge, right? Let's uh, escape out of that. I think I have a tiny section here I can delete. I have the hardest time telling when I've got the delete thing selected. Yeah, this little piece, right, can come off. Let's see if I can start a bridge and go up. Otherwise, we'll just take out this road and maybe have the road go over the train. But we're just experimenting. I apologize. This episode and the last one are kind of on the slow side. Okay, I think I start it. And then how do I get up over this thing? Gotta just click right away. How do I get this thing up over the road? Doesn't want to do it. There's something about the controls, right, that I am just not getting.
<laughs> Look at how high I got the height. Now 20, 20, 25. All right, I can't get over this road. Not seem to do it. That almost looks like it works, right? But it doesn't. Um, all right. For now, till we learn, or till I learn better how to do this, it's going to be the heavy-handed approach. And that means... Bye bye roads. All right. Let's just uh, cut to the chase and kill off this road as well. Now this may mess up my bus routes. Maybe not. I gotta wait till these vehicles get out of here. Gotta wait. Boom. Go away. Next. Once these guys get off the road, I should be able to delete this. All right, let's connect these two train stations. I know this is painful if you are an experienced transit gamer. <laughs> but I am not. All right, now how do I get a train on here? So it'd be nice if we could hook up to this track somehow. Can I find a way out of here? Let's put another stop in. So this has got to be at least a little entertaining, if nothing else. Uh, let's see, because it's, uh, kind of silly. Boom. Uh, then we got to deploy our eminent domain bulldozer here. Sorry, fellas. We will, uh, rework the roads and all that good stuff. At a later date. Yeah, I have a hard time with this bulldozer knowing when it's, uh, gonna let me, let me work. I gotta wait for these trucks. I guess I could waypoint them out of here. Looks like we got a little gap here coming. Let's see. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh no, I got stopped at the intersection. Maybe this time. Come on. <clears throat> Let's see. Can we get this thing deleted, please? Oh. Oh, and there's no one there. There's no one there. All right. So what do we got to do here? Literally cannot seem to delete this road. What I can do is look for that section. That'll stop some traffic from that way. Again, we can rework the roads pretty easy, probably. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but... This, the pain of learning this lesson, is kind of going to make it stick in my mind to maybe lay the stations down from the beginning next time. Now, why can I not delete that? There's no vehicles here. Do they have to clear the intersections? Okay, I'm clicking the bulldozer. There we go. Boy, it takes a little bit of patience, huh? Uh, more bulldozing to be done here. Yep. And then we're never going to get that road this is a busy section of road. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the traffic to clear. This entire section, I can just... Yep. Ooh, I'm not sure what I took out. I guess I took out a building there. Any of these sections, as soon as I can get rid of it, then, uh, nice. And that'll help stem the flow of traffic on the little section that we need gone, which is this one. Nice. Okay, good, 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 good. We're getting there. We are getting there, and it's quite impressive. All right. Now, what is up here? We should be able to come down and connect up. Why not? Why do you suppose that is? Is there, are we hitting? I don't see us bumping into any buildings here, right? Got the cash. <gasps> We're off by, what are we off by? Like a half a thing? So do I have to do like this routine? Why I cannot, oh, come on. We're just off by like one half a square or something. And it's not letting me join back up with my train. I think that's what's going on here. Let's uh, delete. Mm -hmm. 
It's a little fidgety in my opinion here, but uh, we'll get it. Now that, okay, I'm waiting for the save leg here. That looks lined up to me, right? Is that right or am I not? That looks right. So if I pull this back, better yet, let's extend some train track this way. <clears throat> that may help us uh, determine the exact placement of where we want the station so it lines up. Yeah, that's a better approach, I think. Um, How far back do we have this thing? Quite a bit, right? That hooks up. Of course, it wiggles. Let's try that one. Like I said, we get a decent amount of cash. There we go. Look at that. So easy. It's so it's almost too easy to uh, place these stations. Oh, no, I got to tear up the soccer stadium. That's not cool. But, you know, things happen kind of. So long. And I want to get this hooked over here so we can use the same depot. That's kind of what I'm working on. I guess we could branch over this way and then bridge maybe but i need to hook up with this track over here that's at least my intention now i could probably be using bridges better uh, if i could get those to work a little better than i would but i've not had much luck with those let's see can i yeah i'm just let's see if we do something here and then here, and now let's try the whole bridge deal and see if I can make this work. Boom. Over. Now, why can't I build there? Yeah, I am struggling with the train track and building over roads. Now, that looks fine to me. I wonder what the issue is. Am I just close? Too close? There, no, we don't like it. Okay, let's try going, going higher. Does that do anything for me? Doesn't look like it. Can I right click to take out that section? Nope. Huh. Escape out of that. Ooh, that's interesting. It like looks like it's filling it with dirt. Uh, bridge B. Cannot build here. Wonder why. Let's keep deleting. Yeah, sorry to put you through this pain. Go ahead and skip this episode if this drives you crazy. But I don't give up super easy. All right, can I get. Don't ask me how, but that seems to work. Yeah, definitely have a little bit to learn with laying the rail. There's no question about that. Let's bring this guy over here. And then I guess, is there a way I can get connected up here? Probably not very easily. Oof, that looks ugly. Wow. Is that not want to connect up? All right. So that, it, it, you can't really do it better than I've just done it. So if you want to take a screenshot, I can just hold it here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Let's try and get, oh, we, you know what? We can use our same train now that we're on the same track. Let's send our train over to the depot and then we'll, we'll do a whole nother, um, a whole nother route. So let's try it. Let's try it. And then I want to verify my assumption that the train just kind of disappears. And so do the trucks when you send them to the depot. I think they just kind of vanish, right? They don't actually make the trip. They kind of wait and then they just poof off the screen, I believe. That's moving to depot.
So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought they would just go back. Curious, very curious. I gotta say, I'm not enjoying trains. There they go. Okay, he just disappeared. He's back in the depot. Let's set a new route for that guy. I guess I could have left him selected if I had it. Pick him. We'll, uh, let's see. We'll clear the route. We'll go to individual route. And this time we're going to try our new little stops here. They are all connected. So he should be able to get to here. She, the train conductor, should be able to get into here. Let's add a new route for this guy. The first stop will be, uh, we can just come up. Haver, transfer, add stop, Haver, transfer. Okay, let's look at these options. I go through these really fast. Build your own list of orders, waypoint, load, load. Okay, we'll transfer. And then the next stop, add stop, Amana Colonies, boom, transfer. And then I think I want the actual next. I'm going to add another stop. Remember I was saying at the beginning of the episode, there's a way to go down, you know, come down. And then rather than looping all the way back up, just hit that, those same spots back and forth. I'm going to do it the long way by adding another stop to this route. We did Haver West, Haver Transfer, Mana Colonies. Then I'm going to go to Haver Transfer again. So I'm just going to add that stop. I'm going to look this up. I'm trying to look this up between episodes. Can't promise I'll get to it. Okay, let's see. I may have made these in the wrong order. So we got Haver. Okay, and then we want... I want Haver Transfer next. Or Haver Transfer first. I want Haver West first. Sorry. I'm going to drag these routes to where I want them. I want to start in Haver West, move to Haver Transfer, a manas, and then back to Haver Transfer, and then loop that route back to Haver West, and they'll just do to do to do to do back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We'll save it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is for the name, and let's deploy this guy and hopefully get a chance to see this thing go. Uh, I'll crank up the speed. How about two times? Or let's do two times. Here comes our train. What do you think? Place your bets. Place your bets now. Will we pick up passengers? We have more coverage in these three stops. So even though on the map, it looks like they're just too lazy to walk a couple blocks because these stations are so close together. Maybe in real life, it's uh, very far apart. Oof, look at that hill. That takes a while to get up. We've got the low end train, so you know that may have been a smart move actually unintentionally. I didn't see him stop. What did I do something wrong? Let's see here. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, is he gonna stop? Yeah, look at this. I don't believe it. I've got a tear. There is a tear in my eye. You can't see it from where you guys are sitting. But there are tears raining down. <laughs> raining down my cheeks. As I see us actually picking up passengers here pretty quickly. All right, let's wrap this episode here. So this, yeah, last episode I know is super painful. This one, probably not that much more enjoyable if you stuck with it. If you didn't, no problem. I don't blame you. But uh, I kind of want to keep this on the uh in the episode just so you can kind of see the struggle the developers can see it that help helps them sometimes but also you know if you're learning a game like this it's easy to get frustrated and sometimes watching someone else uh play horribly like i do may make you feel a little bit better so that's why i keep it in there but yeah so we kind of learned this system i think you know it like i said at the top of the episode my expectation was hey if i have a bus station next to a train station these two things can transfer passengers back and forth to each other now i could be wrong but right now it looks like that dynamic is not in the game it could come later or it could already be there and i'm just missing some key ingredient to make that work but that's how we laid out the track the first time through last episode and we saw no passengers right several cycles of no passengers so 
we have uh, a bit of a mess. We got all kinds of... Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. So we've got a mess to clean up next uh, next episode. You can see we've got buses here that don't know where to go. Probably because I tore up roads. Yeah, I'm lost. So we'll do a little bit of troubleshooting next episode. Um, get some things running, perhaps. Uh, we should probably carry on with this train network as goofy as it is coming through town here and seeing what we can bulldoze uh, we may even intentionally starve out a business i don't know if i can make the turn here not as i look here i wonder if i can kind of turn we may intentionally starve out these businesses so they go out of business and we can actually delete those buildings they'll disappear on their own if they go out of business just so we can run our passenger train through here. And hopefully that guy will uh, turn a, a tidy profit for us. Now, right now the running cost is higher than what we've earned, but it ran a whole lot with zero profit. So uh, let's do last, oh, let's, last 30 days is the shortest time period. My hunch is this thing is actually pretty darn profitable right now. I think we should go ahead and extend it if we can i don't know if we're gonna want to loop through other cities or just run it like in a subway in town and just not deal with intercity transportation or just do it with buses or something i don't know i haven't i haven't decided yet uh on that but it's good to actually see this working all right i'm gonna stop babbling now and end this episode uh, if you stick stuck with me this far, I really do appreciate it. If you like this content, and I don't know how you can, but if you do, give it a thumbs up, and that will help my tiny channel grow, and we'll get better as we plan. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks again so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next episode.